What's going on, y'all? It's your boy. It's your boy IQ, you know. Sitting here in the hotel, you know, the La Quinta Hotel, you know what I mean? Sixth floor, doing some boss things, you feel me? But I came here today, man. I just kind of want to just give my thoughts on what's been going on this free agency, what's been going on in the NFL period. Um, starting with my team, starting with the Panthers. I really do like the moves that we've been making. Um, I really like the Julius Peppers bringing them back. Um, I know he's old, and I don't really expect him to do a whole lot. But they're talking about one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars per sack for him. So if that's a, if that ain't motivation, then I don't know what is. Um, we bring back Charles Johnson, we tag KK, um, Mario Addison. We get him. Um, then we go out and get Mike Adams, which to me is a was a real good uh, pickup on, um, under the radar for real, for real. Because Mike Addison, I mean Mike Adams, is a is a damn good safety. Um, he's he's kind of old too, but he he can teach these young dudes back there in the secondary, you know what they need to do. Also, we get Charles Johnson from the Minnesota Vikings, a big, speedy receiver, um, somebody that we're gonna definitely need, and we're definitely gonna try to use him. Uh, me personally, I wanted Terrell Pryor, but Terrell Pryor went to the dumbass Redskins, whatever. Um, also. The Matt Khalil situation, it seems like it's a lot of people that's uh, teetering on, on, on whether or not that was a good pickup. To me, it was an excellent pickup. Um, I know they gave him a five-year, $55 million deal. That's $11 million a year, which is right pretty much what you paying a left tackle. So you can sit there and say he had some bad years, but damn, Christian Ponder, he was there with him. I mean, damn. That was horrible. I mean, in a lot of the majority of the time, he was hurt. I think bringing him here to Carolina, he here with his brother. I mean, you know, you playing with your brother. I mean, you know, and plus it ain't like your brother was some trash. Ryan Ryan clearly is one of the best centers in the, in, in football, so uh, that's gonna be added motivation for him as well. <clears throat> Let me turn this shit down right quick. Watching this NFL Network, you know what I do. It's nothing new, you know, doing my homework as usual. My football prowess is unmatched as usual. Um, but anyway, uh, bringing back Captain Munlin, that was another good pickup for us. Uh, a nickel corner, uh, another another good corner that I feel like can help uh, with these other young corners that we got with Bradbury and Worley. Uh, we did draft Zach Sanchez. He hasn't really panned out just yet. But I think under the tutelage of Captain Munlin, it, it'll definitely all – try to come together so Captain Munnellan knows the system he knows I mean this ain't nothing new for him he know what to do he know where to be um, what, uh, me personally for the draft I think uh, Dave Gettleman did he always says that uh, whatever he do in free agency is going to set up what he does in the draft right so if in free agency you go get a left tackle so you can X out left tackle for a first round pick uh, you solidify the D-line, but you can't have too many pass rushes. You can never, ever have too many pass rushes. Ask the Giants when they won both of their Super Bowls. They were just rotating motherfuckers in and out constantly. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they just never stop. You just get the Brady, then you win, this, you win. Um, so I'm thinking they're kind of leaning towards that way. I would, Me personally, I want Leonard Fournette, uh, but I wouldn't be mad at Solomon Thomas at eight. Uh, we traded Coney Ely. I know Coney Ely personally. I met him. I chilled with him. He told me out his own mouth. He said, "Look, man, I'm paying. I'm only playing for my second contract. Once I get my second contract, I'm chilling." You know what I'm saying? And that's not a knock on him. He he needs to get his money, so he gonna get his money. We traded him to New England. We get a second pick, second round pick, and we give them a third round pick and Coney Ely. Me personally, I think uh, he's in a contract year. So you really had to decide if you wanted to pay him or KK. That's what it boiled down to. You know what I'm saying? Um, KK, we got a tag on him. We got Vernon Butler. He, you know, he's supposed to be real good this year. He was the first round pick that we picked up last year. 
Um, a lot of people was mad about the Coney Ealy uh, situation just because they sent the, they sent him to New England. And the only reason why people mad is because it's New England. That's it. If it, if it if we would have sent him to San Francisco, it wouldn't be a big deal. If we would have sent him to the Bears, it wouldn't be a big deal. But because it's New England, it's oh y'all y'all did this trade with New England, man. Fuck all that. Look, listen to me, man. I like Coney Ealy. Um, I felt like he didn't live up to the hype just yet. Not saying that he can't, because he could be a good player. But he was there specifically to um, to take the take the place of Greg Hardy and Charles Johnson, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Because Charles Johnson's on his way out. Greg Hardy was gone, so he he took Greg Hardy place for the time being until Charles Johnson left, or or until he's going to leave. So. His production, uh, he had a damn good Super Bowl game, and I mean that I think that helped him a whole lot because if if you're gonna show up in any game, then the Super Bowl would be the game to show up in, in my opinion. So he showed up. If we would have won that game, he would have been the MVP hands down. Um, let's see what else. I think that's about it. Like the draft, like I said, the draft pass rusher probably is gonna be where we go at eight. Um, um, I wouldn't be mad at Solomon Thomas. I uh, don't really see us going anywhere else. Maybe a Jamal Adams, uh, if he's there. Uh, don't really see us really going anywhere else, but that way. Um, now, as far as everything else in free agency is concerned, uh, looking around the league, man, it's like, I mean, my, I mean, some of the some of the teams I think that are doing good, I'll start there. Um, Philly. Um, I think Philly, what they're doing to try to help out Carson Wentz, is major. You know, they get they, they get their left tackle they get their left tackle back, um, and that's going to help them out tremendously. Uh, he was suspended or something like that for doing drugs, PDs or whatever the hell he's doing. Um, but he'll be back. You get Alshon Jeffrey, big receiver. You got Jordan Matthews, another big receiver, and then you got Torrey Smith, who's a speed receiver. Because Nelson Aguilar is some trash. I'm going to just say it. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. He's some trash. He's some grade A garbage. So, he he need to go sit it down somewhere. He need to be kick off return, punt return, or something. Like, he, he, he's trash. Uh, I think they, they – Philly did some good things. The Giants did some good things. Uh what the real major move was getting Brandon Marshall. You get Brandon Marshall with Odell Beckham and Sterling Shepard, that's pretty good. You still need a running back. I think Philly still need a running back too. You know, uh, I don't know if y'all going to just run out there with Ryan Matthews and Darren Sproles, um, but if that's, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. But I think the Giants definitely need to figure out this running back situation. There's some running backs out there. You got Latavius Murray out there. You got Adrian Peterson out there, Jamal Charles out there. I think Jamal Charles will fit perfect with them. If I'm Jamal Charles, that's where I will probably go if I don't go to Seattle. Um, AP, you can try to kick the tires on AP um, and see how that goes. But for me, um, I'm probably trying to get Jamal Charles if I'm the Giants. Um, New England. New England did some good things. Like I told you before, they got the Cone Ely. They got uh, Stephon Gilmore. And they still got Malcolm Butler. I thought the, the whole thing was they were trying to trade Malcolm Butler to the Saints for Brandon Cooks, but yet he's still there. So they got Stephon Gilmore and Malcolm Butler. That's some pretty good that's a pretty good situation. Um, and then they go get Brandon Cooks. Now that right there is the trade, in my opinion. Not the Coney not Coney Ely, but Brandon fucking Cooks. You give Tom Brady Brandon fucking Cooks, man. That shit about to be crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So, to me, that was the biggest acquisition uh, so far, in my opinion. Uh, you give Tom Brady a burner like that, dude that can run routes, uh, dude that's fast, uh, him with Edelman and Grunk, and, you know, can't beat that. Now, some people who I don't know who the, what the hell they're doing is – um. Cleveland, like I mean, Cleveland, they they trying to do this, they trying to do this money ball shit, right? Okay, I'm with the money ball thing because it, it's proven that it can work if you do it right. So they stockpiling all these picks and shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you trade, you get Brock Osweiler for what? For a pick, just to cut him and send him somewhere else. 
just to try to trade them and send them somewhere else. Man, don't nobody want that motherfucker, dog. If y'all if y'all can't even use him, y'all definitely need a quarterback. Then what the fuck make you think somebody else want his ass? $16 million, y'all got to pay this motherfucker $16 million if y'all can't get rid of him. You going to just cut him and let him go and go in the draft and do what? Start over again? Because you cut RG3, y'all got to make a decision. You know, and I don't understand that shit. Another team, the fucking Redskins, man. My boy Charlie. Hey, man, I'm sorry, dog, but y'all a mess right now, man. Y'all don't even got a GM. Like, who, who... All that, all that work that man probably put in with with the combine and everything. Like, who who's about to take over? Bruce Allen? Come on, dog. Like, come on, man. You gotta have somebody in that that, that no talent. Kirk Cousins. Why the y'all ain't signed him yet? Me me and you had a conversation and you told me I was hyping him up. I'm not I'm not trying to hype that man up. I just told you he was the best quarterback that the Redskins done had in ten years and you won't even sign him. That don't make sense to me. If he works for your system, then you keep him. The money don't. The money shouldn't matter. If, if that's your guy, that should. It should matter, man. Think about what the money that Jay Cutler made, the money that Andy Dalton got. I mean, these motherfuckers wasn't the best quarterbacks in the world, but they got hundred million dollar contracts. Why? Because that's the quarterback that fit their system that they had the most success with. Period. Yeah, y'all gave the wrong motherfucker the wrong the goddamn money. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all gave Lake Norman. Josh, well, y'all don't know. I call Josh Norman Lake Norman. Y'all gave Josh Norman all that money. For what? The most penalized corner in the NFL. That's my boy. I rock with him, but I just don't think he fit with y'all. That's just my opinion. Um, y'all should have signed Kirk Cousins, man. Y'all got all that money. Y'all going to franchise him and give him $23 million. You just gave him 19. Now you about to give him 23 more? You could have signed him last year, and this year he could have been making 18 or something, something less. But you're going to give him 23 million more. And then after this year, then what you going to do? Start over, then you're going to want to try to sign him? Come on, man. It don't make sense to me. Uh, they did pick up Terrell Pryor to replace Deshaun Jackson, but you lost Garcon, you lost Deshaun Jackson, you lost Chris Baker. You, I mean, what the fuck are y'all doing? I don't understand. You still need a middle linebacker. Your pass rush ain't great. Um, your corners are so-so. You done move Breland to safety. So who's on the who, who's taking Breland's spot? I don't know. You in a division where everybody got receivers. Everybody in the East got receivers now, man. So what y'all gonna what y'all gonna do? You gonna you gotta have corners. You gotta have safeties. You got to get to the quarterback. I don't know, man. I don't understand it. I really don't. I really don't understand it, man. Y'all going to have to come through in this draft. I think y'all might actually get, have a chance at Jonathan Allen because he's falling. He got uh, bad shoulders. He didn't, have sh he didn't have surgery on both shoulders, and he got arthritis in both of them. So that scared a whole lot of teams. Um, so, y'all might be able to get somebody like that to help you pass or a shout. But other than that, man, I don't understand. Also, the Cowboys, man. Y'all lost a lot of motherfuckers on defense, dog. It ain't like y'all had the best defense in the world. I still pick y'all to win the division only because of what y'all got on offense. Y'all re-signed Terrence Williams? Yeah, I don't know about that. But y'all re-signed him, so he there. Uh, he played good at home. I know that. He played good in Dallas. He don't play good nowhere else, but that motherfucker played in Dallas. So, y'all got him for eight games. Uh, y'all got y'all had three million dollars in cash space. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, y'all, no wonder y'all can, no wonder y'all ain't signed nobody. And I got no fucking money. And I checked the books. So all y'all cowboy fans, I checked your books. I think I'll be cheating on the fucking books. I got too many hundred million dollar motherfuckers over there, man. But I checked the books, man. Y'all got three million dollars, man. Y'all, like, hey, y'all keep asking Tyron Smith to fucking restructure, and sooner or later he gonna be like. <laughs> but if y'all get rid of Romo, that should, you know maybe that can help y'all save some money. Um, I just seen uh, the Giants got a uh, DJ Fluker. He kind of underachieved a little bit, so but that'll be that might help their O line out a little bit. And also Buffalo just signed my boy Philly Brown. I like Philly Brown a lot. I think we didn't really give him a chance to try to flourish in our system. He could have did everything. Well, I ain't gonna say he could do everything again did. But he's fast as hell too. Um, he's just little. He got a bad shoulder, but 
I'm looking forward to the season, though, all in all. I'm looking forward to the season. I think it's going to be a good year. Um, I think that uh, uh, as far as my division is concerned, the South, uh, I think that it's going to be a good year for, for everybody in the division. Um, but fuck everybody in the division. Believe that. It's Carolina all day. Y'all know what it is with me.